From a small room inside a century-old church. It was a Methodist church built in the 1800s. Pete Worlands, the sport director for a community radio station. We're in the K-Goats uh, radio studios. That might not have much to work with, but he'll tell you. We have a big job. Gets a lot of work done. We try to cover everything from music festivals to political debates, uh, local sports. And right now, that means getting ready for the weekend's big homecoming game with a historic broadcast from Gold Digger Stadium. Supposed to be the last homecoming game at Gold Digger Stadium. Prepping inside the wooden broadcast booth quite a process, yeah. until someone stole the station's broadcast equipment out of his car. Comrex radio system was stolen out of my car up in Georgetown. That was 12 days ago and the radio station still scrambling to find a way to get the football game on air. And our hope was to broadcast as usual. So the goal now is to get that equipment back in the booth. Something that all started with Parker the Snow Dog asking for help from his more than 13,000 Instagram followers. He was the first one to get the word out on his Instagram. Pete's hoping whoever took the equipment will just return it. And if not, he's throwing a Hail Mary hoping these old phones will be enough for the small radio station to broadcast the big game. We've had fans in Italy and France listening right here to our little gold digger games. And an update with a story late yesterday from Parker the Snow Dog's Instagram account. 93.3 Radio offered up some of their equipment. So engineers have been trying to merge their equipment with some of the equipment here in Idaho Springs. They don't know if they're going to be able to make that work. So they're still hoping that their equipment will be returned in time for the game. If not, Marty, they're relying on an idea to use some old analog phones and some 80s style broadcast technology that they found lying around in garages and booths to still try to get the game on the air. They think they might be able to do that, and it's proof that sometimes that old technology can still get the job done. Well, it, it can work, and I hope they do get it up there. It is going to be very odd to not see Gold Digger Stadium there anymore when you drive by uh, Idaho Springs. Yeah, you're right, Marty, which is a whole nother story. That's a historic stadium, a great place to watch high school football, and potentially this is the last season for games there. So uh, it will be strange to drive by and not see that stadium right Without there. Without question. Good morning to you, Matt Renew in Idaho Springs.